In this demonstration, I'm going to show how we can build a Streamlit and Snowflake application that calls Vertex AI for generative AI. And this first part of the demo actually repurposes a sample Streamlit application, which is available from the Google GitHub repo here. And it's just a sample standalone Streamlit app that shows how to call the Palm 2 LLM. And what I've done is I've ported that to run inside of Snowflake. So here is the app running in Streamlit and Snowflake. And if I type a question like what makes Snowflake such a great data platform and hit enter, that is actually sending the prompt to Vertex AI to come back with a response telling me why Snowflake is so great. Now, the only changes that needed to be made to make this run inside of Snow Streamlit and Snowflake are first, a few minor cosmetic, cosmetic changes, but the main difference here is that rather than calling the Vertex AI directly, I had to wrap that API call in a store procedure. So when I hit enter on the prompt, that was actually calling a store procedure called get vertex text generation. So let's go have a look and at what that looks like. So if I step into the SQL worksheet that where I created that store procedure, um, first I set the context, I then set the security integration um, where I'm holding the GCP client ID and secret that is going to be used for authentication. Uh, I have then generated a OAuth refresh token, which my integration uses, and I'm storing that as a secret in Snowflake. I create the network rule that allows Snowflake to talk to the Vertex a, uh, API endpoint. Um, in this particular example, I'm running in the GCP Europe West 2 region. So if you want to run this code, you'll have to change that URL accordingly. Uh, we then create the external access integration that allows the store prop to use the network rule and secrets that we've just created. And then here's the body of the code itself. So here is the store procedure. Um, it takes a number of parameters, including the prompt text. So this is just a string that comes from the Streamlit app with the prompt that's been typed in, and then some parameters that's also passed to the LLM. Um, you'll see that the Snowpark code that actually calls the Vertex a API endpoint is relatively small. So what I'm doing here is using the requests library to um, just make a get request to the API endpoint, ensuring that the OAuth token is passed for authentication. And that returns the, the JSON response, which we're then uh, parsing and just getting the prediction that has the response text in there. So if I run this from the SQL worksheet itself, just to test that it's running, here we go. I've just called that stored proc, and this is a response that's coming back from Vertex AI. Now, in order to make this more of a real world uh, example, what I've done next is to create a user-defined function that is specifically designed to analyze a customer review for a retailer. So the only real difference here is it's a UDF rather than a store proc, and I have hard coded a pre-prompt. So before the customer review is passed to the LLM, it's hard coding some text that's asking the LLM to return a JSON object um, that includes the sentiment of the review, an explanation of why it gave that sentiment, a summary of the review, and then very usefully the product if the customer mentioned the product name. Other than that, it looks very similar. And if I then call that UDF from the SQL worksheet as an example, um, passing a sample customer review, you'll see the type of response I get back. So here I'm getting back this variant data type with the explanation. In this case, the review is about a shoe, the sentiment is negative, and here's a very quick one line summary of the review. Uh, now, if I wanted to call that in bulk for, for kind of batch processing, um, here's an example of how I might do that. And this is just a select statement that's using that UDF to um, call Vertex for a sample of five rows in a review table with some uh, fictitious uh, customer reviews that I have in a review table in a, in a Snowflake 
in my Snowflake database. Um, so that's what this looks like. Here is the variant that's coming back from Vertex. And I've just um, used the Snowflake JSON dot notation to pass that out and give it some more structure. So that I've got separate columns for the product name, the explanation, the sentiment, and the summary. And then finally, what I've done is to uh, build a Streamlit front end that makes this customer review analyzer a little bit more, more useful. So if we jump back into Streamlit, here I have a second app, which I've called the Vertex AI Customer Review Analyzer. Um, so at the top here, I've just got some very simple visualizations that's showing me for that review table, how many reviews have we received on a daily basis and how many reviews do we have with different ratings between one and five. Um, then as the user of this app, I can filter down. So let's say I just want to have a look at the reviews that are ratings four and five. And I have a nice little data frame here that's showing me all of the ratings that are either four or five. And then I'm going to select a couple of these that I might want to send over to Vertex. So if I select a couple of these reviews and I hit this button here to send it over to Vertex, what it's doing is it's taking each one of those reviews that I've selected, calling that UDF that we just looked at, and it's showing me um, side by side the customer review that's coming from my Snowflake table alongside the response that we're getting from the Vertex AI um, Palm 2 large language model. Thank you.